Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. OpenAI very silently released Whisper version 2.0 for the large model. So this is just a commit message, but you know, it is internet, everybody has found it. And now we are going to talk about what is this version large version 2.0 and how can you use it? Is it different from the version one? That's the entire this video. First of all, let's see what they have done. They have not made any announcement. They've just added a new commit. You can see the commit, which I'll link in the YouTube description. It says add large V2 model. And after it says add large V2 model, it says the large V2 model is trained for more epochs with regularization and shows improved performance compared to the previous large, which means the small model, the base model, the medium model has not got any change at all. Previously, whenever you used Whisper, you had to select the model, small, base, I think tiny, uh, medium, you had a lot of different categories and there was one of the categories is large. And now OpenAI has updated that large to a new large, which is the large V2. So it has got the same architecture as the original large model. So in terms of model architecture, nothing changes. It's the same model. But what they've done is they've taken the existing large model and they've trained more with the regularization and it shows improved performance. We'll just quickly look at the performance aspect later on. But right now, what we know is the same architecture. But previously, it was a large model. Now there is a new large V2 model. So if you want to use the new large or large V2 model in your OpenAI Whisper workflow, what you have to do is all you have to do is keep the code same, which means you can just simply say load large. It will still load the latest large V2 model, which means by just calling it large, you're going to get the latest large V2 model. So what do you, what do you have to do if you want the previous model that you are using before for that, you have to specifically call large V1 instead of calling it large. So when you call large, it is going to give you large V2. When you call large V2, it's going to still give you large V2. But when you, if you want the same old model that you are using before, which is the large model, now it's called specifically large V1. So you need to explicitly call it large V1. But every other thing like small, medium, everything else stays the same. So to quickly summarize, there is a new model in OpenAI Whisper. So the new model will be by default loaded in your workflow if your code just says or like load the model large it would load the latest v2 model and we are going to now shift our interest into the details that is in the paper so i'm going to go here and then see the details you can see the raw performance uh, here you have got the large whisper model and you have got the large v2 model you wouldn't see a very huge significant change in terms of the performance. You can look at this, but what I was quite interested in is when I looked at it. So which is the very first aspect. Let me show you here, 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 here. Okay, this one. So this is something that was like mind blowing. Uh, I don't know what was the, like, what was the uh, readings before, but if you see now, OpenAI Whisper large V2 model, and then the comparison is a wave to wick model, which is from Facebook. I think it's from Facebook. Wave to wick model, large. And if you see this comparison across different data set, except the Libri speech on which wave to wick is, I think, trained. If you see every other data set, like common voice is from Mozilla. So if you see every other data set, Whisper large V2 model has been consistently, like very consistently, significantly outperforming wave to wake model. And you can actually see that. So for example, if you take common voice as an example, wave to wake model has got a WER word error rate of 29.9. And you could see that large Whisper V2 model, the latest one has got nine. I mean, it is more than three times of improvement that you could see. So overall, what OpenAI is claiming is that overall across the data set, not just one data set, across data sets, they could see an average of 55% less errors, average of 55% less errors, which means you can say that OpenAI Whisper V2, large V2 model is almost double the time better than what your industry standard has been and that is what this table tells us and it is quite amazing because this is a 
this is an open source model um, it has been available there for a long time and we could see such a huge improvement massive improvement from what is the state of the art uh, wave to wick model and again this doesn't compare it with the previous v1 this just compares it with wave to wick and then large v2 so probably that v1 already had a better uh, score which we don't get to see because it doesn't show the revision but you can actually see the v2 model is quite impressive in that aspect now if you ask me how the v1 gets compared with v2 so one we saw v2 is amazing v2 is great at a lot of things and then we could see v2 is consistently outperforming the existing market standard state of the art model uh, from wave to wake um, in across the data set now if you ask me how v2 is doing with respect to v1 i didn't do any comparison myself yet but i could see certain people actually talking about it for example one of the comment on hacker news is that it seems like large v2 is a huge improvement when transcribing in japanese i tested it on some movie and then it no longer breaks after eight minutes before as before so you could see the transcription here like i link this comment in the youtube description as well for you to try it out yourself but you could see that previously when they were using the large v1 model it was breaking after eight minutes now with the large v2 model it is no longer breaking it after eight minutes which means v2 model is outperforming v1 in terms of japanese if you see only english transcription you can see that the v1 and v2 are not very different if you just see english you don't see a huge difference in terms of v1 and v2 even though v1 and v2 consistently outperform every other model that is available but you don't see a huge difference in terms of only english transcription but now the entire picture changes when you get into a multilingual aspect for example even for libri speech when you look at multilingual data set you can see v2 outperforming v1 for example you can see for uh, let's say for german language large model previous large model was uh, giving you 6.6 .6 wer word error rate percentage now the v2 model gives us 5.5 that's a huge improvement like you can see a percentage point 1.1 percentage point in difference you could see a similar difference in spanish you could see a similar difference in portuguese now if you get into another data set which is a common voice like i said a mozilla data set where we have got a lot of other languages that are usually not covered in you know the traditional data set we could again see a huge improvement for a lot of low resource languages for example if i talk about the language that i speak tamil you can see that the large model was previously giving us an error rate of 17% and now the large v2 gives us an error rate of 16% and you could see the same thing for a lot of other languages for example if you take urdu you can see that the previous error rate was 28% and now with the large v2 it is 24% and this very similar um, very similar scores or very similar performance improvements are there across a lot of languages and this is this this indicates whatever that open ai has done that whatever that they have mentioned that training taking the existing model architecture but training it for more epochs with the regularization has actually consistently showed improved performance especially in a multilingual setup which is why a lot of people were loving openai because openai whisper was not just a model that could transcribe in english but it was also doing a great job in transcribing different languages like multi language for example tamil to english Engl hindi to english bengali to english telugu to english lot of other languages as well so to sum it up it, like if you want to know you can now use open ai whisper large v2 model it's right available right now on the open ai whisper github repository you can right away use it which means if you call the model large you are going to get the large v2 and large v2 is large v2 has got a large large v2 has got a large amount of performance improvement and that performance improvement is tracked on this paper and also um, anecdotally we could see some users responding to it i link all the required resources in the youtube description please check it out also if you try large v2 let me know how you feel about the model and its performance i would love to hear from you until the next video happy coding peace